fighting ZT Fight School and London Shoot Fighters. He has a background in boxing and a cage rage record of three and two. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the challenger, Soul Zero Tolerance Gilly! opponent weighing in at 77 kilograms. He's representing Team Roughhouse and he's sponsored by BlackstarEnt.com, OriginalGarms.com, B&B Construction, American Fightwear. He has a background in mixed martial arts and a cage rage record of five one and one. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the Cage Rage British welterweight champion, Paul Sentex Daly! Gentlemen, this is a world awake contest scheduled for three five minute rounds of action for the Cage Rage British Welterweight Championship. With on my right, the challenger, Soul Zero Tolerance, Gilbert! <laughs> and on my left, the Cage Rage. British welterweight champion, Paul Semtex Daly! <laughs> and your referee in charge of the action is Grant Walterman. Okay guys, any questions for me on the rules? Don't grab the cage when you're fine and don't elbow the head of a downed opponent. Keep it clean. When I say stop, you stop. Touch gloves, let's get ready for war. Right back. Here we go then. You ready? You ready? Let's fight! This will be a fight in which Paul Daly, who made the accusation of the one dimension of Saul Gilbert, did try to exploit that right away, got the takedown early. He's gonna work for Mount here going to try and sneak that right knee over the belly of Saul. Saul very relaxed, not panicking at the moment, trying to lock up the legs there of Daly. The thing is, when we look at Saul's career, he likes to feel he's been in a fight, doesn't he? He does. He likes to have a fight. And I think he'll certainly get one out of Paul Daly today. Saul just trying to turn, get out of position, get out of the bad position he's in at the moment. And there it is on cue, Stephen, the knee trying to come across the belly. Yeah. Going right into an arm bar. Daly almost getting it. Saul having to really fight to pull out of it. Now Paul has to stand up. And this is where Saul wants it. You see him call to Paul. Yes, he feet. gestured him to come up onto his feet. Oh, and, and it's Daly that lands with a good shot. That was a left jab that sent. Uh oh, left knee. knee by Daly. Daly being the stronger striker at the moment. 
Saul's got to find the chin of Daly in order to get this competitive, otherwise we're going to see a blowout. Saul looks sh shaken there, very shaken. Daly again for the takedown. Saul trying to work a high guard there. Left knee sneaking up top, trying to pull that right arm of Daly underneath. Daly wise to it. They're right in our laps here at Wembley Arena. Both guys very tight. And that must be worrying shot. for Sol. These are not only good shots here, but when they were upright, Daly seemed to carry the more power as well. The more accuracy too. He got there first. Good explosive work by Sol to turn Daly. An excellent reversal by Sol Gilbert. Now on top, Daly on the bottom. And we're going to see the guard game of Semtex with his back to the floor. I think Sol, Rob, needed this, if not, for, if not for anything else, but to clear his head. Yeah, I would definitely agree with you there. He's, he's took a couple of very hard shots from Daly, and now he would have been refocused. That, that would have given him enough time to get himself back together. And as you can see, he's working very well at the moment. Daly doing a good job at keeping Sol close so he can't unload with strikes from the top in the posture up position. Paul going up high with that left knee. Uh-oh. And Saul goes over the top, doesn't land, but it throws the right hand, and Daly knows more is coming. Body head by Saul. Just working those short shots, trying to wear Daly down. Daly trying for the triangle once again. Saul gets the open guard and tries the axe kick. Good left there this time from Saul, nice and accurate. One thing that uh, puzzles me, Saul coming in with no head movement though. His head's coming straight in. Gets taken down again. Daly on top, up against the fence. And there's been a nice variety to this fight already, hasn't there? There really has. And what, what's impressed me a little bit is that Saul has gotten out of trouble a few times with the ground game. Daly hasn't been able to. Oh, Saul almost getting an omoplata on Daly. Certainly picking up on your earlier point, not as one-dimensional as Paul made a thought originally. No, I, I think that I don't know when the, the comment was made by Daly, but, you know, a lot of this is to sell tickets and to get people into this and to create the grudge and whatnot and all England fight. It, it's a good thing. Sometimes it's not personal. These, these guys, you know, and they, they try and state the, what they see, and if Daly thought that and Saul did get offended, then it's only going to help Saul because he's going to go into the gym and he's going to round out his game. So just trickling blood from his nose there. So definitely looking the worst for wear. Seems to be a little graze across the top of his forehead above the right eye. Well, his I think this goes cut. from what you said, Steve, about the accuracy of Paul Daly. Yeah, well, accuracy wasn't what we just saw because he hit the floor a couple times. And he landed that left hand two times to punctuate the end of round number one, which was obviously a Paul Daly round with the two takedowns in the ground of pound. Rob, what must be worrying for Sol is when they're upright as well, he's still in trouble. I don't know, I think, I think it was fairly even upright. Uh, Daly caught Sol with a very good shot upright. Sol caught Daly with a very good shot upright. But if we look here just at the end of the round, that's animosity. Paul's trying to really finish this fight. And as you said, put a full stop on the end of the round. But what we're seeing there, now look at this, shotgun job by both guys, and that jab landed better for Daly. Uh, actually, no, Gilbert. But here at the there end of the round. See. Big left hands with one intention. The London Shoot Fighters gym looking on. Alexis on the right giving instructions. Obviously concerned that uh, of two things. Number one. Saul was getting hit standing up with cleaner blows. And number two, he was getting taken down almost at will by Paul Daly. But again, that could be, as you said, the head movement. 
Sol's head movement, movement is very limited when he's upright. Well, one thing Sol is doing is when he comes in for strikes, he comes straight in. He doesn't use a, a slightly angular attack and cut up the pie a little bit. Look at Saul going for the takedown. Almost walked into a knee there. He was lucky there. Saul landing a left hook, grazing left hook. High kick by Daly, partially blocked by Gilbert. And again, another good high kick by Daly. Another takedown. Daly gets on top in the open guard of Gilbert. They're talking to each other down there. Yes. I wonder what Gilbert just said to him. Well, there was a lot of talking before the fight, as you said, to sell the tickets. A lot of what well, I think we call his trash talk, but it was all in a good natured variety, wasn't it, when we, it when was, we saw it, it last time? It out. was fantastic. These two guys exchanged words at the uh, Cage Rage Contenders show. And there was a lot of fun and humor in it. No malice at all. Well, there's no humor here now, because as you said, Rob, Daly in particular, very, very focused. And intent was, I think, the term you mentioned. Daly with the kicks. Gilbert with a good left hand right there. Follows it up with another good left. Gilbert appears to be getting the better of the standing exchanges, but goes to the ground via another takedown by Daly. I think that left hook is his most potent weapon, if he can land it. That's right, Sol looked very comfortable there, like he'd found his range. Again, looking for an armbar. Daly does a good job of just pulling out. Sol in a very bad position at the moment. But Sol getting guard again. Does Amazing. A very good job. He's really worked on his jiu-jitsu, especially from his back. Looks like Paul's getting a little bit tired here. And with that in mind, it would be smart for Gilbert to go to the body with a kick or a punch. A kick would be more problematic because Daly would grab the kick, take him down. So it would probably be land that left hook to the liver. Well, if I remember rightly, Sol Gilbert actually finished four of his five professional or semi-professional boxing bats by a body shot. I would like to see that left hand go to the body because Gilbert. There it is. He's got to pull the trigger. Yeah, he's head, head hunting at the moment. And that's the concern. Look at the takedown defense there. Oh, good right hand by Daly, and down goes Gilbert. Gilbert covering up, not entirely out of it here, but that shot hurt. Yes, and Daly knew it. Oh, he's out, he's out. He's, he's out caught now. one to the chin. It was a huge left hand by Paul Daly upright that went down straight to the chin of that man there, Saul Gilbert. A KO via vicious ground and pound by Paul Daly. And what a shot, guys. He knew from the moment the first shot landed, and he was in on him so efficiently. And just before that flurry, I was just about to say how accurate Saul's strikes were becoming. Great win for Daly. I tell you, one of the one of the problems that Saul Gilbert has been running into his whole career is that he's got good power, but he's not elusive. And here we saw it with a huge right hand that put him on the ground. And, and there was no let up from there, was there? No. Because Paul kept firing shots until a good one landed, and that good one came right about now. Here it Bam. Is. And that was the knockout punch. And as you said, Stephen, the problem for him is he can get hit while he's in full flow himself. And that's a very, very good finish for Daly, guys. Yeah, that, it was, that one punch right there was a straight left hand coming straight down right on the chin. And saw and had enough in the opinion of Grant Waterman. And there is still the British welterweight champion of cage rage. And Rob, still only 23. And a true champion. He's just defended his title against not only one of Britain's top-ranked middleweights, but one of Britain's top-ranked welterweights now as well. Fantastic work by Paul Daly. A true champion in the making. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 58 seconds of round two, we have a winner by way of knockout. And still, the Cage Rage British welterweight champion, Paul 
Semtex. There it is. And ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your runner up. So, zero tolerance. I think Cage Rage here at Wembley. I think they enjoyed that one, didn't you? So, so Paul, what number are you? I'm the number fucking one. <laughs> was that a hard fight for you to retain your belt? Uh, uh, yeah, it was a hard fight. Give it to Soul. Soul's a uh, uh, top middleweight in the UK. But I'm number one. And when you're in here with number one, you have to bring your A game. Unfortunately, Soul did it today, and we had a good game plan. And I won. It was a referee stoppage in the second round. Do you reckon you could have done it earlier? Uh, I could have possibly. Like the game, the game plan was working both second and first, first and second round. Didn't get the stoppage in the first. Nearly had it at the end of the first though. And second round, we just kept on banging away and got the victory. Without swearing, but still getting excited. Anything I just, you want to I just, say? just like to thank my sponsors, American Fightwear, uh, BlackStarEntertainment.com, Original Garms, B&B Construction. And if there's any rich motherfuckers out there that want to sponsor the number one UK uh, in the UK, then holler at me and uh, give me some money, all right? Oh my God, did you see that KO? Paul Sentex Stadium has proved again why he is the Cage Rage British Worldweight Champion. The guy is world class, no doubt about that. What we're going to line up for him next?